Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today I'm going to be sharing a gnome wine bag with handles. We're going to cheat a little bit to make this a boop easy craft. If you'd like to make it, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now, as far as supplies go, we're going to need a bit of Mongolian fur, a bead for a nose, Scandinavian print, and a wine bag. Now, if you're new here, with a friendly gnome reminder to subscribe. How? Just click that red subscribe button below and then the bell for turning on all notifications. Now let's get back to Sarah and the crafts. Okay, first things first, we're going to size the faux fur that we want. Now, I'm pretty familiar with cutting faux fur. If you're not, I have a video up there. So I'm creating a very large rectangle. I'm going to allow for the drape of the fur in the bottom. And the first thing we get to do is brush it out. This little sexy music is a nice little break for you, but it's gonna end right here. Okay, so you can style this fur any way you want. I'm going to add a mustache. So in order to make a mustache, you're gonna make a a uh, cut that's as wide as your beard you're going to split it in the middle part that fur so it's about like it's not just straight down the middle and then you're going to glue the fabric backing together leaving a section in the middle unglued and now when you put your hot glue onto your um, fur do not glue down the edges we're actually going to use those and leave a bit at the top I'm going to pull this down so I can actually leave that bit at the top and then and just make sure you like everything where that beard is before the glue dries. So for your hat, you're just going to have it just wider than your wine bag when it's laying flat. And you're going to create a triangle with no point at the top. I'm using a bit of fleece as my trim, so I cut that. And then use my hat pattern to cut the other side. Because you will be able to see the back of this the way we're building it. And we're going to put right sides together and glue down those two long edges, leaving the bottom open. All right. So just do that. I do use a fabric hot glue for those of you who ask in the comments. That'll be linked below. When you poke it out, make sure that glue is dried. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off about an inch, leaving the seam alone, cut about an inch to an inch and a half off the back. And that's going to help us be able to tuck this whole thing down and look seamless. All right. So once you have that tucked, um, put a little hot glue right on the bag. Don't go all the way up yet, but tuck down pull down the fur and tuck that hat in back so that when you put the fur down, it's all under, see that? And then you're gonna take any edges that are a little bit too long, tuck those up under the uh, fur and then glue them right to the bag. So you can see I'm gonna add the fur or add the glue right to the fur, then I'm gonna glue the hat to the bag. All right, so now for the lamb's wool fleece, I glued the actual fuzzy part here so it'll look sewn, but I'm lazy and I didn't want to sew it. So I just used hot glue and put it all the way across. There you go. And just do that on the other side as well. Biggity bam. You're like 95% of the way done with this project at this point. <laughs> all right, so I used a little polyfill and shoved that right up on top, but you can also use fabric scraps. So keep those if you have them. And now for the next part, I'm just going to glue down this mustache straight to that faux fur. And then I'm going to glue down my clay bead. You can use a wood bead. You can use a button, a pom-pom, anything you'd like. Just be sure to scrunch that hat down, gluing it right to the nose. And then I just tucked up my edge of my fleece so that it would look finished like a hem. Again, fake sewing. All right, so for I used this little burgundy ball I got on Amazon, uh, Bell, I mean, I tied it double with Baker's twine. And now what I'm going to do is uh, the little part, I'm not going to cut it, but I'm just poking it in there with the edge of my knife. And then I'm going to add hot glue, squish it down, seal the edges. And now when you pick your bag up, you'll be able to place your hat exactly where you want it. So add your hot glue, place your hat. And now I wanted that to be flipped over towards the edge. So I creased it three places and then I added hot glue in three places and it'll fold over really nicely. And guess what? You stick a bottle of wine in this and you're done. Hey, what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun.